Good afternoon, I'm here with Dr. Noipop, who's going to describe what's going on here in the Royal Mail well, today. Uh, um, uh, well, it's quite cool because Ooh, it's down the, with um, the Down with the monarchy. No, you couldn't. <laughs> you know, I withdraw any connection with anti-anything. I want integration. Yeah, anarchy, right. no. Antichrist. No, no, they can have fox hunting, but I'm not fox hunting. Oh, it's impossible. <laughs> to deal with Our it. audience is being a bit rowdy here. No, yeah. you're, you're Butting in because uh, no, they're entitled to their yeah. opinions. Of course, we are, this is a democracy, so if you don't like the monarchy, yeah, we'll give them social housing. Well, no, the real, the real debate here is about horses, as far as I'm concerned, because a horse that is used for entertainment or leisure practice or whatever, or for hunting the fox. It's totally different from the workforce, which my family, my father was able to operate. He was able to operate horses which were, which had function. And, uh, so, so, um, it's the difference between, if you can feed all those horses for pleasure, then you can feed horses and have enormous pride in the, in the old farm horse, basically. So our, 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 our professor here, who always puts me right, whenever he can, and uh, he's a superior mind altogether, because he, he follows in the footsteps of David Hume. He is the ultimate no, professor, Skeptor, is this correct, professor? Well, he, he's not going to say much, because I think he's slightly um, shy. He'd like to look at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, 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 Give me a little wave. Are you going to wave for them? No, no. No, no. Now, here we are. Now, how wonderful is that? How amazing is that? I think these are cool. Oh, the yeah, I think these are something to do with the borders and the weavers and all that yeah. sort of that power. These may be land of gentry, aristocracy, aristocracy. Um, um, so Dr. Nipok, do you think these wonderful people on horseback have ever had a proper job in life? No, well that's absolutely absurd. Of course they, they have. They undoubtedly work. I'm sure work, many of them work very hard. And as far as I'm concerned, um, they're welcome to carry on. But as I was saying earlier, it's the economic relations in society that assesses them. And uh, you could, how to maintain horses that don't work? Well, presumably, um, you Change got the pay batteries. for them. But the thing, you, it's a difficult problem, and, and I, I, I wouldn't want to confront them in any way other than to say, what are they going to do to integrate into a socialist uh, state? Now, they, they were integrated in that, they were integrated by the um, National Trust, is that what is it, what is it called when they took over the stately homes? Na National Socialism. No, no, yes, well there was a form of socialism after the war, and many people had to contribute to it, including the landowners, because they used to own the mines. So um, these people, um, it, it's difficult to categorize them, because by their appearance, they obviously are uh, upper middle class. To, to be able to maintain these wonderful horses, I'm sure some of these horses are so big and strong they could be work horses by the look of it. But um, by some organisation, if you can organise something like this, you can organise anything.
so we need their skills at um, organising. And also, just imagine if all the land in Scotland was to be organically farmed with uh, a liberated uh, labour force, harvest still uh, are gathered by school kids even, as part of their education. That used to happen the, in Scotland. Uh, where's the guy with the coconuts? Well, well yes, this, this, of course, and this is virtual reality, of course. But, uh, well, it's being recorded. But, um, <laughs> no, it's quite, it's that quite horse has got a noose around it. Yeah. See that? It is quite amazing. Well, it's, there, it's, there, it's a great occasion uh, in the capital of Scotland. Uh, it would be interesting to investigate their backgrounds, where they all come from, the stables, the stable workers. Uh, you've got to remember their horses have to be looked after. Now, all of these young ladies will probably spend their childhood the the grooming snap. horses. They're they love too doing tight it. They buy batteries with the vibrators. No, look, I, look, look interruptions from the up. masses, from the hoi polloi. They're interjecting their objections. And can't, I can't blame them because there is an imbalance in society. But to seek a balance, we need to incorporate these these folk. Uh, and um, they've got something to be proud of. And looking after horses isn't easy. But a lot of young people like doing it, especially young ladies, apparently. <laughs> and um, uh, and they, they, they develop wonderful relationships with the horses as well. So... Uh, and here comes the smallest horse. No, 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 it's so It's not a horse. Yeah. Yeah. The way it's shaped. It's <laughs> well, that's... And here are the mechanical horses. That's the great parade, and um, we're lucky to go see it in this very nice cafe, sitting at this <laughs> very um, cafe. Might as well, Mevo. advertising it, but at the same Mevo, time, very, very cafe, nice. cafe Mevo. 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 Here we are at Cafe Mevo, Mevo yes. with the well, Mevo. And, and, um, like everything else, it's operated by the workers. Without the workers, there's nothing. This is the parade of... Um, so always remember that. Uh, um, we, want, we want organic farms. I want... Uh, uh, um, <coughs> Professor Skeptor here, he's very interested in... Um, he's lost technology. Yeah. He wants... To, what was it? What's your great slogan? Um, fully automated luxury communism is the only solution. Fully automated luxury yeah, communism. Yeah, so uh, we, we dispute over the use of the plough horse and uh, against uh, modern machinery. So complicated that you need a university de degree to mend it if it broke down. Anyway, it's there, it's being used and uh, it's part of the agribusiness. Which, what about, but Dr. Nipop, what about, we will ha yeah, sorry. what about robot workers' rights? Robot workers don't need rights. What? They only need programming. <laughs> but, but we could go down at some point to the nearest organic farm, for instance. I think they've got a restaurant there, so we could go down there and see how it's working. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's all for today, folks. That's it, the gone. I hope you all enjoyed We'll the, look forward uh, to the next video, broadcast. Video version of this, of is, this uh, wonderful parade. This was the horse parade on Delta Video, sorry, off on TV. <laughs> on <laughs> Edit that, the, cut that bit and post it. On, on the, <laughs> uh, the, the 11th of September, 2016. And here we have a wonderful stuff. Uh, here come the machines. <laughs> These workers. Hi,